That's not the scenario in your life right now, is it? I, and I'm saying that it's wrong. So I'm what you're doing right now is wrong. is wrong. What I'm doing right now. By your own moral standard, what yes. you're doing right now is wrong. Yes. So would you change? Yes. Would you like a card? <laughs> but, but no. Okay, 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 okay. We'll just leave that there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give us a hug. <laughs>so let me speak to him for a sec. Yeah. So, so 99% of, of animals are factory farmed, right? I'll go with that, yeah. Yeah, so they're feeding them grain, okay? No, and that, not in all cases. Okay, okay, well what else are they feeding them? They're feeding them alfalfa, alpha. they're okay. feeding them... They're feeding them plants, basically? Yes. So those plants need to be watered, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so how much water do they, they, those plants need, okay, over yeah. the course of the plant's life, yeah. and then we're feeding all those plants to the animal over the course of the animal's life, yeah. okay, so is that sustainable for the earth? Well, obviously it's sustainable because it's happening and the environments are in, they're sustain sustainable and stable. Okay. Now, if you turn it all over the okay. other way, yeah. you've got yeah. to kill the insects, you've got to kill the animals that are eating the uh, crops, if you like. Okay. How are you going to make that? But brother, but brother, if we just ate the plants, the yeah. crops, okay, yeah. we're eating a lot less plants and crops than we have to feed all those plants and crops to grow animals and eat the animals. No, it can't, but, can't but be that way. Are we eating less plants if we just eat the plants directly or if we're feeding tons and tons of grain and plants, plants and water? The plants aren't being forced, which you would have to do with You can't do it. Brother. If, if everyone ate plants, we'd be growing a lot less plants than we have to how feed animals to, bro. Well, bro, well, listen, over the course of an animal's life... Yeah. Force growing. Force growing? Yeah, you're force growing. You're having to put more water in there. Irrigation. You're going to have to put more chemicals in place into the ground. That leaches into the water. It just ain't going to work that way. We need, we've got 70 billion land animals on Earth right now, okay? Well, 70 billion. That 70 billion. Where'd That's that from? the UN statistics. On. For, for land animals, that farmed animals, okay, that we're, we're, we're consuming. For the UN? Yeah. I've never been aware 56 to 70, 56 to 70 billion, okay. That's now, if I accept your figures, yeah. Okay, well you can do your own research yeah, on that, bro. It's up there, okay, but, so those animals need food and water, mm. okay. Yeah. Now if we didn't have animal agriculture. So now you're saying these sentient beings that need food and water okay. shouldn't be there. Why do they exist? Shouldn't be there. But why do, why do they exist, bro? You're saying they shouldn't be there then? No, they shouldn't. Because we're breeding them into okay. existence. So we're forcibly breeding on them into... On one hand, you come in here to protest that animals being killed, but you want a wholesale decimation. Yeah. Animals... Yeah, I don't want animal agri agriculture to exist because we're forcibly breeding them into existence, yeah? So don't you think Is it's it... a little bit uh, hypocritical to come here... No. Nah. These people are killing animals. They're exactly. They're doing what you want to do. Why are they killing them? They're doing them what you'll want to do. I you don't want animals to be animals. murdered. I don't want them to be forcibly bred so into existence. To them? What will happen to them? Yeah, we'd, what will happen to the animals we, that exist now? We would, we would stop breeding them into existence, bro. And what would you do with them? What would we do to them? We'd stop breeding them into existence. So you'd put them on land and let them die on the land? No, bro. In huge amounts. The ones that are here, do what, what do, you th you th do you think that we're all going to go vegan overnight? The whole world, oh, one, one, one yeah, swoop, in one swoop? Well, what's your, do you think what's we're all going to go vegan? Do you think we're and all going to be... Half and half and quotient. What's your name, bro? Me? What's your name? No, I don't do that on okay. cameras. Well, do you think we're all going to go vegan overnight? You'd like us to. We won't. We won't, okay? No. What's going to happen... We'll never go vegan. What's going to happen, my friend, is we're, we're going to have a slow, gradual phase-out of these industries, yeah? What do with these animals? The animals are left over after the whole world goes vegan. Who There'll probably only be a few. Who looks after these sanctuaries? large amounts of animals? Sanctuaries. Do you think there's going to be 70 billion? Do you oh. think there's going to be 70 billion when we stop breeding them into existence? There's going to be a gradual phase-out. That's how it's going to work. Phase-out? Who's going to look after them in the phase-out? 
the phase out, yeah. people are still going to be eating them. People are still going to be because because not the world is. Do you understand that the world's not going to go vegan overnight? You understand that, right? It's going to be gradual. So people are still going to be eating animals as it phases out, right? I don't. The reason there's 70 billion land animals is because we're breeding them into existence. We're forcibly breeding them. So your idea because of these people. Your idea is to bring in two systems. You phase in one out as you bring in another one in. What's the other one? Eating plants. Eating plants. The plant foods already exist. Understand what I'm saying? If you listen a second. Yeah. If you've got the animal farming yeah and you have the vegan farming if you like yeah so as one's going out the other one's coming in you're phasing one out you're bringing another we've one got in. enough plant foods now you we've got enough plant agriculture now plant. yes we do we're already eating plants with your meat aren't you oh, down again you're eating plants yeah, with your meat again. or you just eat meat i like a lot of meat you eat your meat by itself. Oh, I love meat. So you've got a vested interest in these these industries, don't you? I wouldn't say a vested interest, but well, you I'm do. certainly a consumer of it. You're a consumer of meat, dog okay. Meat, sure. So would you consume dog meat? I have done in Thailand. You, so you would? Yeah. So you don't think animals have moral value? Moral value? Yeah. How do you define moral value? Well, a sentient being that experiences pain and suffering and wants to live. Well, would you give the same moral argument value? to a sentient being that eats an animal in Africa? Are you a, are you a lion, are you? No. Okay. Can you tell a lion is wrong? Well, a lion doesn't have moral agency, do they? They can't they be held accountable. They have account- moral agency, but they're okay. a sentient being. So if you're applying to all uh, sentient beings, you cannot eat meat, you must say to the sentient beings. No, 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 no. no, no. As well? I think sentient beings have moral value. I didn't say sentient beings cannot eat meat in a survival situation so like a lion. This moral value, is a lion's moral value not high enough to justify eating meat in Africa? This is about us yeah. causing pain and suffering oh, to innocent the beings. World's going, you're saying the world's going into uh, veganism. The world will. The world will. Can't. Because it people can't. care about animals. Not everyone's like you and don't care about animals. Oh, I do care about animals. You, yeah. you care about animals. Yeah, absolutely. But you condemn them to a slaughterhouse but when you I, eat them. Let's look. Everyone slates, say, hunters. You care about animals, can dude. Do you care about saying? these animals? Can I say what I was saying? Yeah, I'll let you go. Yeah, Thank for you sure. Thank you. Awesome. Right. You get hunters. And um, I would imagine that you claim, say, a hunter is somebody that doesn't care about animals and slaughters them wholesale. Would that be correct to say? I would say a hunter takes animals' lives against their will when it's unnecessary, yeah. Well, I think all lives are taken against their will, aren't they? Unless you go all lives are taken against their will? Yeah, would you not agree with that? Death is a natural part of life, yeah? Murder is not a natural part of life. hunted, raised to be eaten, is taken against its will? These sentient beings are raised to be eaten. That doesn't change the fact that it's immoral to oh, we're take not their about life. All sentient beings now. We're talking about no, I'm talking animals. about any sentient being that their life is taken for an unnecessary reason is immoral. Okay, because we don't need to eat meat biologically to survive. Okay, that's we are living choice. proof of that's that. A lifestyle choice. So is murder and rape. That's a lifestyle choice too. But there's no, a victim it's not involved. A crime. Yeah, it is. It's murder not. and rape is a crime. <laughs> no, killing it's animals. Not a crime. Killing animals. Neither was slavery back in the past, but it was immoral because they were sentient beings who had moral value. So now we're talking about a different time. We're, we're in this time here, hey bro, in this time here, this type of animal slavery and abuse is legal. That doesn't mean that those sentient beings animal have slavery. no moral value. Animal slavery. Well, they're not free, are they? Well, they're not free, but they're living in an environment where they're not free. You would they're agree? Not asked to do anything, brother. They're given a moral imperative, you will. They're here for you. Do you think animals are here to serve you? Do you? No, I don't believe that. I think they exist well, they for their own reasons. Anybody, do they? Yeah, they are. They serve... you ride a horse, I suppose that's... Your... Do you agree with riding a horse? Your stomach is filled with the corpses of these innocent beings. Yes. They yes. didn't want to die, body, and you are eating them. Your body is also tuned to be able to eat meat. So... Just because you can doesn't mean you have to. Well, true, that's again, once down to choice. Heart it? disease and uh, uh, cancer are killing people. Do you yes, know heart processed, disease? Yeah, processed foods, I would really agree with you there. Cholesterol builds up in your arteries. You know where cholesterol Not comes from? Not just eating meat. Where does cholesterol come from? Cholesterol comes from the fats that you make in your body according to what you eat. You can create your own cholesterol. Yes, All animals do. All animals do. Yeah. So it's in animal flesh. Yeah. So you're not going to die from your own cholesterol in your body that you create. Of course not. You die from eating uh, dietary cholesterol from animals. You die from not eating a balanced diet. Cholesterol can never be a balanced diet. It builds up in your arteries. Cholesterol can build up in your arteries, but as okay. it as well. You say you care about animals, okay? I care about animals, yeah. Okay, so do you care what happens to them in there when they get stabbed in the throat? Stabbed in the throat? I've never seen them stabbed in the throat. So they get stunned, okay? And then they get hung up, and then they get stabbed in the, the artery to drain them of their blood, okay? So would you say that they feel any pain at that point? Do you think uh, electrically stunned would, would, and a stab in your I throat would... Stunned, to be fair. Okay, would it cause you harm? Well, it's an instantaneous flash, isn't it? Would it cause you harm? Well, it's meant to cause harm, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. So do you think it's it's moral to cause harm to innocent beings for an unnecessary reason? I think that anybody who's doing that job in there has a responsibility if they're going to 
kill an animal. I think they have to do it efficiently okay. with as least harm to the animal's feelings, if you like. Would Bro, you agree with that? taking their life against their will, mm -hmm. do you think that's moral? When you don't need to, you know you it's don't need meat to... It's a question, isn't it? Well, you don't need to eat meat to survive, do you? Well, once again, it's a choice, isn't it? If people choose to eat it... That's not... doesn't make it moral just because you can do something. It doesn't make it moral to try to outlaw it, does it? Why? Because... If well, you could say the same thing about outlawing exactly, any immoral act. Exactly. Oh, it's not you, moral to outlaw murder and rape well, and kicking what, dogs. That's basically what you're saying, isn't it? Do you think animal cruelty is immoral? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So do you think it's cruel to take a li uh, the life of an animal against their will? Oh, that's... It. no. You don't think that's cruel? No even though they don't want to die? No. Apply the same logic to yourself. Would it be cruel to take your life against your will? If you could do it. Do you think, you, do you, would that be immoral? I think it would. I, wouldn't, I would defend you if someone tried to attack you. Well, I would defend you. If someone tried to take your life, I'd defend you. Because so you're somebody, a sentient being. You don't deserve that. Attacks terrorists in Syria. Terrorists aren't innocent. Pigs are innocent. How do you know? They have done nothing wrong to you. If you go Brother, on, pigs have done nothing wrong to you. Just a second, if you go 30 metres down there and jump over the fence, you'll be bitten. Bro. Because there's a pig that's been living there for 10 years, right? If Barney? You, you talking about Barney? Yeah, Barney absolutely. don't bite no one, mate. Have you not seen Barney? <laughs> he, he might nibble you on the finger, bro. Alright, so in here we've got Barney, the pig. And the guy I was debating with before said uh, if you jump the fence, Barney could bite you and possibly kill you. So let's go see how dangerous Barney really is. Vegan food. Vegan food. <laughs> Look at that little face. You're not gonna hurt me, are you, mate? Oh, so gentle. So much for Barney being dangerous. That's what I mean. These these animals, they don't hurt anyone. Hello, Barney. No. You're causing I more harm it. to pigs. Yeah. Hey, I'm we we kill. Yeah, you are, but I'm you're, you're, you're paying for their yeah. death. Oh, really? You're paying for their murder. No, you're a consumer, you're part of a system. It's, it's called it. supply and demand. Without exactly. your money, these places don't exist, bro. Exactly. And then, who would provide meat for the people that want it? I can make you plant-based meat out of proteins from rice and beans and legumes. So you're telling no. me you're not vegetables? No, you, you can't really you, do you that. Ever see, have you ever seen a vegan burger, bro? I have, yeah. They're delicious. Um, no, not for me. Well, you've eaten one in your life? I've eaten about 30. Okay, you can get bad ones and good ones. I applaud your freedom to do Brother, that. Brother, there's yeah. pizza, pasta, rice, uh, ice cream. We've got everything vegan now. Mm. There's no reason to do this to animals. And you agree, you care about animals. There's Absolutely. no difference Absolutely. between these animals in here and the pets yeah. that you own. I agree with hunters. I agree with people that want to eat meat. Do you agree with someone kicking a dog to death for no reason? I think the last part of your question qualified it for no reason. Yeah. Why would you do that? It's an unnecessary reason why we're, why we're killing well, pigs. You agree with that? Yeah. Can you be healthy as a vegan? I'm not a vegan. I'm not qualified to give you an answer on that. Can you I've be read, healthy? I've read research either okay. way. If you found research that said you can be healthy and thrive as a vegan, would you agree that this is even more unnecessary? No. no. Because then it comes on to choice where you're trying to force a society. Personal no. choice with a victim involved. Personal choice with a victim, yes. There's a victim involved. Okay, so the victim doesn't matter in your choice? Uh, it factors in it. If it was somewhere like Malaysia where I've been, hey, no, no, no. I wouldn't buy the chicken. UK, right here. UK, right here, right UK. Here. No, I don't have a problem with that, to be fair. You don't have a problem with an innocent being having their life taken for an unnecessary reason when you have alternatives? No, well, you're, it's unnecessary to you, but it's not unnecessary to people. How is it necessary for you? It's like, I'm not saying it's necessary. Is it vital for your survival? It's necessary if somebody wants to buy it that they can. No, I'm talking about you. Is it necessary for you to eat animals? If I want to eat a pig, which I very rarely do, to be fair, I'm not keen on pork, but if I wanted to eat it, I would have a right to buy it here. And you have, just because you have a right to do something doesn't make it moral, okay? You had a right. Well, you had a right to own. You, you had a right to own a, a human slave 200 years ago. You had a right to own a human slave 200 years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was your right, legal right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does that make it moral? Just because you have a right to do that. Are we talking of the times or are we talking over... You know, when no, I'm, I'm, I'm just applying times, the, your logic. Morality changes. I'm, I'm, no, it doesn't. Morality... Morality does change. Okay, so murder murder has always been murder, yeah? Has murder, that changed over time? Go back to the Middle Ages, murder wasn't murder, was it? It wasn't? No. Okay, there, was, so, there was no crime but murder. Okay, but is, was it still immoral? Just because it was legal? We, we're and talking about... For what reason? You're talking about legality and morality. Mm -hmm. Not what's legal, but just because it's legal doesn't make it moral. Yeah, but it makes it defensible. So what? It's not, it doesn't make it moral, that's what we're talking about, morality. Whether innocent beings like this are moral, uh, have moral value. They have moral value. I still can't get over that definition, moral value. You agree that animals suffer and feel pain, yeah? Of course they do, yeah. They do? Yeah. So they have moral value? 
Where's that, the value attached? I don't see it. Well, they they are sentient, just like you are. Yes. Where's the value in you? Where's the value in me? Where's the value I don't in you? Attach a value to myself. You don't. No. So that you don't have moral value. So, so we shouldn't we shouldn't treat you with respect. Practice. Do, you, do you agree we should treat you other beings with respect? You can try and treat me with disrespect. That'd be fine. I'm not. I, well, I don't. I, I respect all beings. Okay, mm. including you. Mm. Okay, I have respect for all beings. Okay. But once again, you've made a moral choice. It's great for you. Yeah, and you do too. I believe you're a good person. I do because you, you care about. You make no, no, I do. <laughs> Whatever you say, I believe you're a good person because you care about animals. You just said it. Yeah. Okay, but your actions don't reflect that. Okay. Well, that that's the thing you see. If you're saying that civilized life, they have to take it to a point where they value animals, they value this, you're in danger of there are too many people in the world that aren't going to be fed. You can't do that. Brother, yeah. we've just established we we could feed the world. Well, we could feed 10 billion well, people with the food that we have right now. We're feeding it to animals. And I, unless you can say to me, right, if you read this research, this tells us we can feed everybody now at this moment. If we okay. had to, we could start doing it. You can't. The infrastructure isn't in place. Fifty percent of the fifty uh, percent of the grain in the U.S. U.S. is one of the biggest countries. On the three hundred million people there, fifty percent of their grain. So genetically modified food is acceptable as well. Fifty percent of their grain has been fed to. Um, uh, animals in animal agriculture. Yeah, there's a lot of food. There's a lot of plant agriculture going on. We 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 are fine without eating animals. Can't see it. Can't see it because there's so many countries heavily populated that don't have that infrastructure. You haven't even done the research yourself. So how can you not see something you haven't even looked into, bro? Well, I can see what is. I mean, is that true? Is that true? What no, I just said? You haven't have looked into it. I have a degree in it, so. But you haven't looked into uh, vegan lifestyle. What's what? You don't even know how much grain we're feeding to animals. Well, I know that we feed other things as well as grain to animals. Yeah, they're grass-fed and then they're, yeah. they're grain-fed at the last yeah. few weeks to fatten them up. Yeah. So, it doesn't change the fact that you agree that animals, well, you care about animals, you say that. You well, say that. I say that, I say it, I purposely won't go out and kick an animal, but I might go and eat another one. So, yeah. I'm not applying the same morals in your case. Yeah, so by, so by you eating animals, you're hurting them, okay? No, they're already dead. They're not being hurt while they're Yeah, but they're only dead because you want to buy them, eat their bodies. They're dead because somebody sees a value in them in another way maybe not a moral value they want to sell the animal they want to they want to commodify an animal body exactly right so yeah. commodifying sentient beings is okay in your eyes well somebody has to do it don't they so making money off the suffering and death of innocent beings is okay in your eyes are they suffering <laughs> you think they're not suffering in there no do you it's think they're not suffering when they're getting their blood drained from the, from their? I've seen animals being slaughtered. Uh, are, okay. Are they actually? Have you been conscious? in there? Yeah, have you, you've yeah. seen them get stabbed in their throat. You didn't I even know whether they got. For starters, you didn't even know that animals got stabbed in their throat. I know they so have to release the blood. I know they have to do that. That's not. not All issue. animals get stabbed in the throat. Every single animal. No animal doesn't get stabbed in so the throat. What my question was. Yeah. Is are these animals feeling that at that time? <laughs> what does that change the fact that they're getting stabbed in the throat? If I stabbed you in the throat, oh, well, I'm not. I don't want to be offensive to you, but if someone You're stabbed, me if, if someone stabbed you in the throat, whether you felt it or not, that has caused you harm. Well, there's got to be. <laughs> Do you be, understand? Pain is not no, you, you pain and suffering. If that animal's been stunned, I wouldn't say it was sentient at that point, would you? It's <laughs> oh, it was sentient stunned. up to the point of being <laughs> knocked unconscious. But, would you sooner them cut okay. themselves without would, doing would your defence apply in any other context? Like, oh, she wasn't she wasn't sentient after I stunned her, Your Honour. So <laughs> the crime is just devoid. Oh, now we're going into legality no. of it. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, if it's indefensible. Stung, if, you if you're going to kill an animal, it's going to die. Okay. Yeah, right. We're, we're yeah. going to kill it when we're Why do you, why, first of all, why are you it? killing it? Why are they kill it? They're going to eat it, aren't they? No, okay, but, we, it. but it's unnecessary. We've established that. You no. don't need to eat animals to survive. You can go back to that standpoint each time. What I was trying to establish was, yeah. if that animal is going to be killed what's the most efficient way of doing it causing least harm to the animal i would say that's what they're practicing that's not the only choice we have though bro we don't just have oh uh, what's the least the what's the least uh, amount of harm we can cause to an animal not, not we, really we, we don't have we don't have to do this it's not really a choice we've got another choice telling us we can't do it that's, bro i'm saying that we yeah. we've got another choice leave the animals alone eat plants i don't think it's even yeah, you don't think it's possible? I think it's viable. We are living proof. This is one of the fastest growing movements on earth. Mm. We are living proof you can do this. You're living proof in very small numbers. No, we're not. There's millions of us oh, now, brother. No, right. There's I, vegan options vegans everywhere. In Africa. In Africa. Yeah. In Africa. I don't know any vegans in Africa, yeah. but in the Western country where we have the freedom of information, where this mm. is spreading and people are waking up and they can see what's going on inside of these places, yeah. people don't want to contribute to it, bro. People do not want to contribute to unnecessary suffering and death of animals. I would say it's more like they would sooner see a packet of meat in a freezer rather than knowing the reality. Bro. And that's where society itself 
goes wrong, they move away from the reality. Exactly. Animals if they seen them. what yeah. was going on in here, they wouldn't want to consume it. Like you have a family, you They're have a wife and do you have a wife and children and stuff like that. If they seen what happened in here, mm. they wouldn't want to eat it, okay? Because you you yourself know that most human beings, compassionate, logical, rational human beings, care for animals. They don't want to see animals get stabbed to death. Okay? Children. I think the reality of it, yeah. I think yeah, they're, they're, does that tell you something that we shouldn't be doing it? Well, no, if your children can't see what happens in here without being sick doesn't. and being scared, yeah. that, that gives us an indication that we shouldn't be doing this to them. Think about it, brother. I, see, I know what you're saying. I see yeah. exactly where you're coming from. But once again, it's a choice. So is raping a woman. Well, I've never raped a pig. So all, they pigs, all pigs get raped. All pigs get raped. They do. Yeah. They get artificially really? inseminated, forcibly impregnated, and yeah. their piglets get taken away from them. Okay? Yeah. You know about all that? I know about artificial Okay, animals. that's why there's 70 billion land animals on Earth right now, because we're, we're artificially forcibly well, impregnating them. Yeah, to okay. feed okay. people that otherwise wouldn't okay. get the protein. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to end this with you, bro. Yeah, but it's been an interesting debate with you, bro. But you say you care about animals. Yeah, sure. Your actions aren't consistent with that, okay? Well, I won't be judged by somebody else. I'm not judging you. Yeah. Well, four sure, four years ago, I was eating animals probably more than you were, mm. okay? Okay, I've just woken up and decided that it's unnecessary to cause harm to them. They've done nothing wrong to us. They're six months old. They're six months old when they're getting stabbed in the throat. Okay, they're like puppy dogs. Okay, they're innocent. They've done nothing wrong to us. All animals are innocent, aren't they? Exactly, exactly. So we're doing this to innocent beings. Okay, innocent beings. They've done nothing wrong to you. I don't think they're being killed for having done, for having done something wrong. I think they're being killed. For our greed? No, people don't... Well, for taste eating. pleasure? Because you like the taste of animals? Protein, basically. For protein? We can get protein from plants, and you know that. I Come on, mate, you've that. done research. I understand that. Now, protein, I, I all protein comes from plants. All protein... Originally comes from plants. with plants, because animals that eat it, turn it into what they... Exactly. You, you That's, you're filtering your, your nutrients through an animal. That's right. That suffered and died. Mm. Okay? Even if they didn't suffer, they got caused harm. They've been killed. They've yeah. been murdered. Well, Killing murder against... Murder is a legal term. Okay. Yeah. They've been killed. Killed against their will. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's unnecessary. You don't have to do it. Well, then again, to convince me, you'd have to show me some real serious research on that. Happy to do that, mate. On two points. I'll give you a card. <laughs> give me the card. Okay. This stuff got some. This is some stuff on nutrition facts here. Yeah. Okay. This is what the health. Mm -hmm. This is a. These are good films. They've got all your science. Um, all the research linked in all there the for you. There, yeah. Here, this is cow conspiracy. All your references are on there. So everything you need to know about the environment, yep. about water use, mm -hmm. about how much food we're feeding these animals, about how unsustainable it actually is. It's not uh, the water use for various vegetables. Well, I'll let you do your own research on that, okay, mate. Sure. Okay, you can find out for yourself. On the back, if you want to do a little challenge, there's a vegan challenge on the back. Follow my link mm -hmm. and give it a go. You might. You, I don't think you're going to die of protein deficiency for showing compassion to animals. Right. Thanks for giving me your opinion. Thanks, brother. Take care. Wow.